What we've learned about people, like human nature, is that there are a lot of really wonderful, beautiful people in the world, that people are kind. Um, even some of our con contestants that come on the road with us that seem kind of tough, you know, next thing you know, we see them crying over seeing a child who might be hungry or handicapped in some way and and come home from that and, and want to do something. And then there are people that are very inappropriate also. I mean, to look out the window. I mean, I, I, I tell, always tell people, before we go on the road, I said, do not be intimidated by wealth or poverty because people get very scared when they see poverty. They look out the window and they say things like, oh, look how these people are breeding here. I mean, they say stuff like this, it's like frightening. So yeah, you get the true nature comes out and people are very afraid of poverty and they're intimidated by wealth. And I say, you can't, be, you, you can't do that. You just have to be yourself and just go with it and shake hands. I said, the guy that rides on the motorcycle with five of his family members, that may be his Rolls Royce. The guy that lives in a cardboard box on the side of the road, that may be his home that, that is, has valuable. Maybe he didn't have a cardboard box last week. Now he has a cardboard box. You have to respect these people. You have to, I said, and these are the people that will help you. It's not the guy from the government. It's those guys that will do something for you. On our side of things, on the production side, um, you know, we've been to, we, we like to leave something behind that's good for a place that might have needed something. In Ethiopia, we put roofs on houses. Um, in was Burkina Faso, where we rebuilt two schools. Um, so we, we in like Vietnam, to do something. In Vietnam, we built a fishing village. Uh, actually, at least built a failed fishing village there that, were, that they could never afford. So we did it for the it. challenge, but then we left it behind. We left it behind. And it was a real, the real thing, not just a fake little thing that collapses three weeks later. No, we built a complete fishing village in Vietnam. We built these houses in Ethiopia. We, we did all that stuff, you know, and it's, it's a lot of fun to do that. It's great. I mean, in, in uh, um, you know, I like to do, uh, what do you call it, uh, last moment kind of good things to people. I, there was a guy that had lost everything in the tsunami in Sri Lanka. And uh, I called my facilitator in, in Colombo. I said, you know, see how this guy and his family, how they're doing and this and the other. And he went there and he came back. He says he lost everything. The guy's got nothing. They're, they're destitute. I said, now do me a favor. Um, see what he wants, buy him a plot of land and put a house on it and furniture and the whole thing. Because I've had some really amazing moments in my life where I got, I got all of us and all that stuff, right? So I said, just do that for this guy. And we did it, it was not very super expensive, it was, but for those people, an unreachable amount of money. And he moved in and it was all good. And we had a refrigerator and a kitchen and his wife and his family. Everybody was super, super, super happy. It was fantastic. The only thing, it was a little funky at the end. <laughs> I got a call a few months later. He was now the rich guy in town and had a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> and his wife was really angry with him. So, <laughs> I mean, no good deed goes unpunished. But uh, <laughs> it was interesting.